Hi, this is Shelley Kraft, and welcome to SNN Live. We're at the Biotech Life Science Healthcare Week 2013 here in San Francisco. With me is Dr. Eric Von Hoff of Antigen Express Inc., a subsidiary of Generex Biotechnology, and the symbol is GNBT. Welcome to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. Good to be back. Yeah, I haven't seen you in about a year, I it's guess, right? It's been just a year, exactly. I'm glad you came by. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let's get into it. Tell me about Antigen Express. I know it's not a delivery service like I'm used to, but it might be something along those lines because this is kind of new for you, right? That's right. That's right. Really what we're trying to do at Antigen Express is to expand the, uh, the uh, stimulation of the immune system such that rather than stimulate the immune system just to recognize pathogens like flu and this type of thing, to recognize other pathogenic agents, in particular cancer. Mm. Okay, so how does it work? So what we do is we've identified a way, there have been discoveries made, which are the technology platform of Antigen Express, which uh, what they do is they modify tumor-associated antigens, so they enable the immune system to recognize cancer cells as though they were a foreign agent. And this has always been the big problem in, uh, in treating cancer with immunotherapy. Obviously, cancer arises as normal tissue from your body, so the immune system doesn't really like to go after normal tissue. We found a way of essentially taking tumor-associated antigens and making them visible to the immune system so the immune system can then attack cancer cells uh, at periods long time after the immunotherapy is given to the patient. Well, this is breakthrough technology. This is something, it is, it is breakthrough, uh, although I got to say it's been a kind of a trajectory that's similar to monoclonal antibodies. So people have been trying to do this for quite a while. The last 10 years have been very exciting, actually. The, the first half of the last decade uh, was very difficult, so people working out how to deliver antigens so the immune system recognized them. Uh, there were a lot of failures early on. Mm -hmm. About the second half of the last decade, though, people started to see success. Uh, we were perfectly positioned with our technology, a uh, way of making tumor antigens visible to the immune system that we initiated clinical trials in 2005. Uh, and this year, the big event is that we, uh, we submitted our interim data to the FDA. So this is the largest phase two trial done with a, uh, a, a cancer vaccine, controlled, randomized, trialed, and on the uh, uh, basis of those data submitted to the FDA, they've essentially green-lighted us to go ahead and submit our proposal for the our protocol for the phase three. Well, it sounds like you're on the fast track which is big, and we all know that cancer is in everyone's lives. I mean, one, a doctor told me, you know, everybody has cancer. Am I right or wrong? Well, any man that, that lives long enough is going to get prostate cancer. That's mm -hmm. kind of what it comes down to. And I think there's no one out there that does not know someone that has unfortunately had cancer. So it's, it's a reality, and it's, it's uh, the, the treatment for the last... Uh, 50 years has been you know, pretty toxic agents. So the real promise of what we're developing is a non-toxic way of stimulating the immune system to go after cancer cells. So just as uh, vaccination, one could argue, is probably the biggest advance in medicine in the last century, mm -hmm. people say even above antibiotics, because bacteria get resistant to antibiotics, um, they don't get resistance if you got a good vaccine. So this is what we're doing now, is getting this technology essentially applied to cancer such that you can immunize a patient in a way that's, that's therapeutic and that the, the cancer goes away and does not come back. So I don't think we have to take the time to get into a size of the market question, number one. Number two, I may be premature in asking this question, but how do you monetize going to the market with this product? I, I, I know I may be early, but from the standpoint of we're a financial entity and, and you know, ultimately somebody has to make money. So sure. how does your company make money? So our firstborn is uh, targeted to the HER2 protein. So this is the same target that Herceptin. Herceptin has been the biggest thing in breast cancer in the last uh, 40 years, basically. So their market, they had, I think, about roughly $6 billion in sales, so it's a huge market. Herceptin is only used in about 25% of breast cancer patients. Our technology, because you stimulated the immune system, can treat roughly 50% of those patients. So it's double the market of Herceptin. Now, we've initially just started in 
early stage breast cancer patients. We are not yet in patients with metastatic disease, which Receptin is, but that market for early stage is still very appreciable. Um, I think we have a, uh, a very good, uh, uh, very good cost of goods profile. We have a synthetic peptide technology. So some of the issues people have heard about with cell-based technologies, which is clearly very labor intensive, very difficult, we do not have. We have essentially an off-the-shelf product, uh, which is uh, uh, inexpensive to make and, um, and very robust, very effective. What's the website? I, I, I want to give it early. I'm not finished, but I want to sure. give out the website because obviously from the standpoint of what you're developing, you're a company to watch and I want to give the website out early. Sure. It's antigenexpress.com. And it's spelled? A-N-T-I-G-E-N -E Express. Where the Express come into it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, is this it, FedEx or what? Well, this was this was from the founder of the of the company, Robert Humphreys, who uh, uh, he spent his his career in academia, and it was his discoveries. Well, I got to give him credit that uh, that led to the technology platform, which is Antigen Express. So he was he saw what he was doing was finding a way of modifying tumor antigens that get to where they need to go in the immune system in a fast manner. So. so this is recognition, and Correct. this is this is a big piece of diagnostics. I mean, wow! How much how much of the American population is spending how much money, even with Obamacare? I mean, technically speaking, you fit right into that, don't you? Yes, we do. So, I, particularly as I mentioned, we have a synthetic peptide technology, very cost effective, very robust in terms of immune stimulation. So, I think this is something which is, for a lot of practical purposes, preferential to what people have seen so far. I mean, people have done lots of peptide trials. None of those peptides are is as robust as ours. Um, so, I think we have the combination of the robustness plus practicality inexpensive cost of goods, and uh, a practical way of treating patients, practical way of storing the material. So we're, we're very, very optimistic going forward. I wish you nothing but the greatest luck to help save humankind. That's the way I look at things. Thank you very much, Shelley. Good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Eric Von Hoff from Antigen Express. Don't be confused. It's not FedEx. It's Antigen Express, Inc. It's a subsidiary of Generex Biotechnology. The symbol is GNBT. And the website, one more time. A-N-T-I-G-E-N Express.com. I am Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're coming to you from the Biotech Healthcare Life Sciences Week 2013 right here in San Francisco. Eric, thank you for coming to SNN Live.